What is going on everybody, Quine Incredible here, and today we are going to be taking a closer look at Tristan's demon powers, or more specifically, why he really can't control them, or what's basically the deal with all that. Now, before, I did make a video about Tristan kind of overall, so there are some things that I talked about in there if you want to go check that out. I'll put that up so you guys can go see it, but this video is going to be very, very specifically talking about his demon powers and why he has this block on it or this trouble controlling it, just really talking about what's the big deal here. So the first thing I want to lead off with is how Tristan uses his powers in general or basically how he is so Tristan you know being the son of Meliodas and Elizabeth naturally has access to demon powers and powers of the goddess clan and seeing as Meliodas and Elizabeth are basically more or less the strongest in their respective clans uh, you could argue over Elizabeth and Mal over who's stronger you know some people would say Mal some people say there's an argument for Liz it's not really important right here, but basically some of the strongest members of their clan. So naturally he has very strong goddess clan abilities and very strong demon clan abilities. Naturally makes perfect sense. Um, but through seeing him in the story, we notice that he naturally has an affinity towards his goddess powers. Like we've seen him use those casually, easily all the time. Like it's like he just prefers to use those powers constantly. Um, and we can even see a lot of people would say he more so even resembles elizabeth in terms of like his appearance um and even in terms of his personality he's kind of frantic kind of spazzy so it does seem like he definitely is more of his mother's son than his father's son if that makes sense to you but there is a little bit of meliodas in there now the first time we really get to see him use his demon powers was in chapter 68 against Melascula when she says you're nothing like your mother you're actually a monster just like your father and then Tristan says it's because I didn't want to hear that I didn't want to use that power meaning that like he's probably heard something akin to this before or at least views himself in this way and I actually have a theory on why he does that or what the reason is for it and it actually does pertain to Lancelot now, as we know, in the most recent chapter, chapter 75, um, when Tristan goes into his, you know, demon mode or his demon form, whatever you want to call it, before he uh, attacks um, Alaska Gallant, he says to call for Lancelot as soon as you can, meaning that there is some connection between his demon form and Lancelot. And, you know, stay with me here because it's all going to connect together, I promise. Right now, it sounds like I'm rambling, but just stay with me. So if you recall, Lancelot does have a scar on his forehead, a scar that he got from Tristan and back in the Lancelot one shot um, when Bond was talking to Elaine about about how Lancelot was kind of changing he, he he said this very important thing we went to Leonis recently right for the captain's son's birthday then he got in a fight with, with Tristan and got hurt on his forehead I feel like this is really really important because when you look at how they are normally like how Lancelot and Tristan just are Tristan wouldn't just scar one of his friends as a matter of fact Tristan wouldn't like harm anyone to that degree even if he was in a fight with them unless he absolutely had to and I can't see Lancelot really putting Tristan in that kind of position and he's more than likely during the fight Tristan lost control of himself and ended up scarring Lancelot and for my theory from this I can say this is either when he first lost control and just went on like a rampage or maybe he was already losing control and then Lancelot trying to calm him down ended up getting scarred in the in the process but was still able to kind of bring him back to himself and it would kind of make sense that Tristan would go berserk like this because if you remember in the beginning of Seven Deadly Sins back kind of towards the Vazo Fight Festival when Meliodas first transformed or it not really transformed but when we first got to see him kind of unleash his demonic power Meliodas really wasn't in his right mind and he was kind of attacking friend and foe alike he wasn't like he wasn't himself he, he went kind of crazy and a lot of this is based off of Meliodas having the majority of his powers taken from him he wasn't really able to control his demon side or his demon powers so it would make sense that Meliodas wouldn't be able to control his powers while Tristan would be in the exact same boat it's a lot of power all at once he can't really necessarily control it along with like demon powers kind of being more connected or associated with negative feelings hatred you know rage wrath all that kind of stuff so it's a lot just for tristan to try to naturally control now i will say there's another thing that kind of would be a reason why it could just be simply that tristan hasn't had his powers long enough to know how to control them and i know that sounds wild since he's like 16 he's had at the bare minimum at least five six maybe even ten years to really get a handle on his abilities but when you think about it demons live for a really long time like demons can live up to a thousand so it's like even meliodas back in the past he was like 250 something years old he had had his powers for hundreds of years so like 
they would know how to use their powers a lot better than someone who at max had 16 years to try to master so there, there could it could just be ne demon powers are naturally more harder to control just because of what they're based off of but i really do think that there is some solid ground for the theory that tristan lost control and hurt lancelot and either you know he came back after that or lancelot snapped him back out of it and then from there he could potentially have a mental block on himself to where like oh my gosh i'm a monster i hurt my friend i went crazy like i don't really want to use this power like so i kind of think there there is a lot of credibility for that because tristan would naturally blame himself for that or feel really really bad as we know like he he's a great guy so it's like he would feel absolutely terrible and this could hold him back from being able to use his demon powers more fully in the future so i'm very interested to see how lancelot is going to like step into the picture and calm him down coming up forward so obviously that chapter hasn't coming out yet so if i had to speculate how lancelot is able to do that it could either go a couple routes. It could be the same as Meliodas, where you might have to beat Tristan out of it, like you like how Escanor beat up Meliodas when you went assault mode, and that kind of chilled him out a little bit, not really. Or it could be something like I've noticed Nakaba does do silly things sometimes. It could be something silly where maybe just Lancelot in general can snap Tristan out of it with like a joke or some funny phrase or something goofy. Or kind of the way that I think it's actually going to happen or how I personally believe he'll snap him out of it is because I think since Lancelot can read hearts, I think he can maybe read whatever is inside Tristan's heart in that moment and then say whatever would counteract that form. I know it sounds kind of far-fetched, but I think Lancelot's ability to be able to read hearts could potentially snap Tristan back down to reality. Um, but that, that's just kind of my own take. I would love to know what you guys think in terms of how you think Lancelot can snap Tristan out of it. And also you guys' thoughts on my theory that it was the fight between Lancelot and Tristan that basically triggered Tristan's demon powers and him injuring Lancelot is why he believes himself to be a monster, which is why he has kind of a mental block on his powers. That's kind of the premise. So I, I, I am curious to know you guys' opinions on that. Aside from that, make sure you guys like the video and subscribe to the channel for more content coming up. Aside from that, you guys all enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you all in my next video.